Good morning students. Welcome to Narana Live Classes. Today as a part of our assignment dated 7th July 2020, we are going to discuss the key based on the poem, The Snake Crying. Most of us think of the snakes as fearsome symbols of death. But the snake in the present poem is itself a victim. If you justify the title, what is the snake is trying to do? The snake is trying to escape from the pursuing stick which is going to kill him. Okay, now let us see few questions related to this assignment. I am writing on the board question number 1. The question number 1, what is the poet's request to the person chasing the snake? What is the poet's request What is the poet's request to the person to the person changing the snake? Changing the snake. Answer. The poet's request, the poet's request to the person, to the person chasing the snake, chasing the snake. with a stick with a stick is to let the snake is to let the snake is to let the snake go free go free to lead his life, to lead his life. I will explain you the question number one. What is the poet's request to the person chasing the snake? The poet's request to the person chasing the snake with a stick is to let the snake go free to lead his life. Now let us see the second question. Question number 2. Question number 2 let us see. What is the question? Let us see. Is it, harm, is it a harmful snake? Is it a harmful snake? Harmful snake? Is it a harmful snake? What is its color? What is its color? What is its color? Now let us see the answer for this uh, question. Question number two answer. The snake is green in color. The snake is green in color the snake is green in color okay and is small in size and in small and is small in size it is absolutely it is absolutely it is absolutely 
harmless it is absolutely harmless as it is non venomous as it is non venomous as it is non venomous okay now let us see the third question related to this uh, assignment third question i am going to write on the board i will request everyone to note down in the books the third question is as follows okay third question question number 3 the poet finds the snake beautiful the poet the poet finds the snake the poet finds the snake beautiful the poet finds the snake beautiful find the words he uses to convey its beauty find the words find the words he uses he uses to convey its beauty answer the poet uses the words beautiful the poet uses the word the poet uses the words beautiful and graceful beautiful and graceful to describe the shapes to describe the shapes to describe the shapes of the snake's body of the snake's body to describe the snake's body i will read the question the poet finds the snake beautiful find the words he uses to convey its beauty the poet uses the words beautiful and graceful to describe the shapes of the snake's body now let us see the question number 4 question number 4 i am writing on the board please note down children i expect and i hope everyone is noting down whatever i am writing on the board okay question number 4 now i am writing on the board question number 4 why does the poet why does the poet wants the snake why does the poet wants the snake to be spread to be spread okay now let us see where the poet wants the poet wants the poet wants the snake the poet wants the snake to be spared to be spared to be spared because because he is non venomous he is non venomous and hence harmless and hence harmless i will read the question and answer once again why does the poet wants the snake to be spared 
the poet wants the snake to be spared because he is non venomous he means the snake is non venomous and hence harmless he is non venomous and hence harmless okay now let us see the next and the last question question number 5 I am writing on the board. Please note down. I am writing on the floor board. Please note down. Okay. Question number five. Where did the snake finally vanish away? Where did the snake? Finally, vanish away. Vanish away. Answer to this question: The snake finally vanished. The snake finally vanished. Away with the green thing. Away into the green thin reeds. The ripples. The ripples in the green slim. In the green. in the green stream reeds are reeds are the heavens for it are the heavens for it i will read the fifth question once again where did the snake finally vanish away The snake finally vanished away into the green thin reeds. Full stop. The ripples in the green slim reeds are the heavens for it. Children, I hope you have written all the five questions, and I hope that you are following all the assignments. Thank you, children. Have a nice day.